Hi guys, so today uh, my unboxing tour, okay? I'm gonna show you in my setup the area where I do all my unboxings. Usually I do in this place because this was only for unboxings and for making creating videos for YouTube. But as you know, sometimes I do videos in all my setup. But anyhow, what I'm gonna speak now, what I'm gonna show you now is another view of my uh, unboxing area. Yeah, as you can see, Totally different view. This is all my space. I'm gonna explain each part of my setup and why did I build it like that. Just watch the video and see for yourself all my ideas that I've implemented in this area. Let's see. Starting, I'm gonna start with the, one of the basics of uh, to make a video that is the lighting, okay? I've searched a lot of things to replace the soft boxes but there is nothing that you can uh, replace it. So I wanted to put soft boxes on my setup, but uh, on a way that uh, they should not uh, bother me too much, okay? They always bother you, but I always wanted to put it in the way that they should bother me and I should walk around without <laughs> getting it by them. So what I'm gonna show you now is this, okay? I've, I've implemented this on my setup. This is a, a boom arm something like boom arm but it's flexible i'm going to show you as you can see this is one of the soft box i have the other there and what you can do with this is really nice because look you can go back and forward with this and you just need for example to free this and she will for example you see you can turn it to the other place so if i want to make videos to the, that side i just have to ro rotate this if I want to make videos for my unboxing area, I just have to rotate again to the same place and close it and it's done. This is one of the things I really love about this boom arm. I'm going to leave the links in the description if you want to implement this on your setup. I mean, this is one, one really good thing that I've implemented because they basic, they almost, okay, they almost don't bother me. I put uh, an AC power there so that uh, the cables will not mess up in the floor too and <laughs> I mean this is one of the best ideas that I've implemented in this area because I'm gonna show you every gear that I use okay okay so for all my videos of unboxing as you can see I use this tripod it's from Manfrotto it's they have a really great quality and you've got a slide here as you can see if I want to make some uh, details on the on the image you've got there a slide i've implemented the slider and here for example you have uh, in the other side you have the boom arm with the micro if i want for example to record detailed sound when i'm recording for example an unboxing and i've got this 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 guy here this is a test cam i mean you can connect it's really nice because you can connect several uh, several uh, micro is you i've got for example the sennheiser and my boom arm microphone here so you can connect multiple uh, microphones when i'm showing you a product you see the product from above and i'm going to show you how i did it so you've got here um, a bar here of uh, steel yes it's steel i think it's steel i put it on the the wall too it's connected to the wall then i've got uh, another safety arm here as you can see to hold my camera and my focus light and this is from my throat too and you can for example you can pick up this camera this camera is pointing to my table for example if you want to move this arm you can move it without any problems you can put it more to the left to the right and it will not fall out because this arm here has uh, i think it has the weight maximum weight of five kilograms if i'm not mistaken so it has to support this camera if it doesn't support your camera should <laughs> your camera could fall down and we don't want that right so this is how i make my above videos from my products other thing that i'm going to show you is a secret that i have on my setup i have a secret uh, on my back as you can see this is my back my acoustic panels just let me explain you about these acoustic panels and why i made it like this so this way this wood will diffuse all the sounds and inside of each one okay as you can see let me see if i can show you there's a foam an acoustic foam inside of each panel okay that's why when i'm speaking you don't hear almost any echo before i make this setup i had a, a window <laughs> behind me so i had to choose should i 
cover the window or what can I do to not cover the window. This was one of the issues I had and I had to think and think and I remember to do something like this. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now what I did here on the back of this place. So as you can see, we have our window. I didn't remove the window. We still have the window. The outside is there. I still have light and and always if I want for example to do unboxing we directly send light I have here my window and I can do this without any problem this was one of the things that I have to think a lot and how I made this was using wood here this is all wood it's really heavy okay this 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 thing is really heavy because <laughs> these panels are not light and I use something that you use for example on your um, on your luggage car, you've got these kind of suspensions and I use this to just have support to be able to support all this weight of this uh, plaque. So after that, if I don't want to receive more sunlight on this case, in this area, what I have to do is just close it. Okay, so now it's closed. Okay, now let's speak about my bass straps. As you know, bass straps is that uh, thing that I've used there, okay, there. And here I use another bass strap. Hope you can see it, yeah. So why I make this? This because when I'm, I love music, I love uh, seeing movies. And when you have a lot of bass, they have vibrance and that vibrance can mess up with your sound. In this case, this type of uh, bass straps will absorb all these frequencies, frequencies and will make you uh, with a clear sound. That's why I'm using this. Okay, oh, I was almost forget. I do not use too much this chair for my unboxings, okay? Usually I use this for uh, being on PC, but this is the Corsair, the last gaming chair that they, they sent me. And guys, I must say that I'm really surprised about the comfort. So if you are searching for a really comfortable chair, with the good materials. I've already made a video about this chair, okay? This chair is really awesome, really comfortable. I really like this chair. You know, Corsair, really, really nice. Now let's speak about my shelves, okay? This is all my products, some products that I've already made a review or sometimes there are things that I use day by day. For example, my headphones, my Bose, quiet comfort Bose. I really love this. Usually when I'm on a train or when I want to make a uh, airplane trip. This is are really awesome. I've got my Sennheisers. In here I've got, for example, I'm gonna show you, I've got here, for example, all my things that I use for recording. I can use, for example, the gimbal, my DJI drone, my uh, lens that I use, my knife, okay, my knife for the unboxing. And I've got here a place I'm gonna show you, let me just show you. Usually uh, keep all my stuff when I want to access them uh, really simple, in a simple way or easy way, okay? This is where I, for example, uh, store all my, <coughs> all my charges, my AC charges, or uh, I'm gonna show you, or my GoPro supports. But let me, for example, explain. For example, here I've got all the tools or uh, converters for the, the videos. My uh, <laughs> my color match for the videos. Uh, cam links, chargers for the cameras, okay, for Canon, all the, the cameras. All the supports I use, for example, lens, uh, polar lens, po lens for the DJI, everything is there. Here is more stuff for cameras. There is a lot of things for LED lights that I usually use. And here I'm, for example, charging um, my DJI drone batteries and I've got, for example, a multi-charger here where I can make several connections. And here uh, above, this is my UPS, by the way. There you go, this is my UPS where I've got uh, all my main power connected to this UPS. And here I've got all the supports, for example, for GoPro, if I want to use GoPro or something like that. I don't know, I've got the, uh, oh. <laughs> Or for example, if I want to use my uh, network cable. I have here basically all the stuff I use uh, for daily use. Uh, keep it safe and uh, hidden from the other things to have a clean expect on my setup. 
Okay, now I'm gonna show you the where I've got all my connections for the AC power, okay? This is all the connections I have. This is all for my setup, okay? Basically, this is where I use all, all the connections for the AC power. For example, for the UPS, if if for some reason the UPS doesn't work, I only can I only need to switch this to the AC power of the house, and uh, there will be no issues since the UPS can be switched off and on easily without any problem. Why? Because <laughs> My UPS is connected to my computer, to my to my desk, and uh, if I lose the UPS and I couldn't work or making video, that will be really really awful. So I have to prevent this using this uh, simple uh, connection between UPS or AC power from house. So now just missing the part of the RGB lights, as you know. I've got a lot of RGB lights. I've already made a video about the a tour about my RGB. But as you know, this is the part where I've got all the connections for my RGB lights. Yeah, it's a lot of things. I've already shown you this. There's a lot of cables, electric cables, but they are uh, 12 volts, so it's not dangerous. It's really low voltage for the LED lights. <laughs> you may think that I have a, a really high cost bill in electricity but i do i do not have okay this is all remember this is rgb lights so it's really really affordable you spend not so much to use these kind of lights one of the things that i did forget was about my desk because this table okay i've got here a table that go up and down as you can see going down and going up so this is how I make my videos. My, so you have seen now all my unboxing tour and ideas that I've implemented. Just leave me in the comments what do you think about these ideas, the softwalk ideas, the hidden space that I've used. And uh, I will make a video before of the end of the year about all the setup. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel and as always, bye bye and see you soon!